The universe is constantly changing, with galaxies moving, colliding and forming new cosmic wonders. Our own Milky Way galaxy, filled with over 100 billion stars, is no exception. But one event, billions of years from now, will change everything for our galaxy. The collision between the Milky Way and its neighbor, Andromeda. Andromeda, a giant spiral galaxy, sits about 2.5 million light-years away from us, but it's not staying there. With each passing moment, it's hurtling towards us, moving at a speed of over 250,000 miles per hour. While that may sound terrifying, it's not something we need to worry about today. This collision is set to happen over a vast span of time, billions of years into the future. But when Andromeda and the Milky Way finally collide, it will be a cosmic event on an unimaginable scale, changing the shape of our night sky and creating a brand new galaxy. This video will take you on a journey through time exploring every step of this incredible transformation from the first. Signs of Andromeda's approach to the birth of a new galactic structure. Before we dive into the collision, let's take a closer look at the two main players in this cosmic drama, the Milky Way and Andromeda. The Milky Way is the galaxy we call home. It's shaped like a giant spiral with arms stretching out into space. If we could look at it from above, it would resemble a glowing pinwheel spinning slowly around a central point. Hold on to your seat, as I will explain some mind-blowing cosmic phenomenon which will happen. And if you are liking this video, do like and subscribe. Our Milky Way is huge, about 100,000 light-years across. That means if you traveled at the speed of light, it would still take you 100,000 years just to go from one side to the other. And somewhere, tucked away in one of those spiral arms is our solar system, with Earth orbiting around the Sun. Now let's meet Andromeda. It's another spiral galaxy even bigger than the Milky Way with around a trillion stars. Right now, it's about 2.5 million light years away from us. That might sound like a safe distance, but Andromeda is on a direct path toward us. It's moving at around 250,000 miles per hour, so fast that it could circle Earth 10 times in just an hour. Over billions of years, that speed will shrink the distance between our two galaxies until they finally collide. But this collision isn't a random event. Both the Milky Way and Andromeda are being pulled toward each other by a force called gravity. Gravity is what keeps our feet on the ground and makes the planets orbit the Sun. In space, it's what pulls galaxies together, even over such vast distances. The closer Andromeda gets, the more its gravity will start to affect our galaxy. But don't worry. Stars like our Sun are so far apart that they won't crash into each other. Instead, the gravity between the galaxies will stretch and bend their shapes, like a slow-motion dance in space. Now let's fast forward to about 4 billion years from now. By then, the night sky will look very different. Andromeda, which is currently just a faint, distant galaxy, will become a breathtaking sight. It will appear much larger than the moon does today, stretching across the sky like a giant, glowing spiral. Imagine looking up and seeing a galaxy so close that you can make out its swirling arms and the clusters of billions of stars. As Andromeda gets closer, the gravitational forces between it and our Milky Way will grow stronger. Gravity is what keeps our feet on the ground and makes planets orbit around stars. But in space, gravity can do even more. It can pull entire galaxies together, bending and warping them like clay. Stars that have spent billions of years in stable orbits will begin to shift and drift. The pull from Andromeda will stretch the edges of the Milky Way, creating long streams of stars that trail out into space, like Cosmic rivers flowing between the two galaxies. This stage is called the First Pass, where Andromeda and the Milky Way begin to brush against each other, but they don't merge completely just yet. It's like two dancers meeting for the first time, circling each other and testing the space between them. During this time, the spiral shapes of both galaxies will start to distort. Picture the beautiful spiral arms of our Milky Way stretching out, no longer in perfect curves, but pulled into new shapes as Andromeda's gravity tugs at them. But even as the galaxies begin to collide, don't imagine stars crashing into each other like cars in a traffic jam. Space is incredibly empty between stars. So while Andromeda and the Milky Way will blend together, their individual stars will glide past each other with plenty of room. It's more like two clouds mixing than a head-on collision. However, gas clouds between the stars will collide, compress, and create bursts of new star formation. These newborn stars will shine brightly, lighting up the regions where the galaxies overlap. At this stage, our solar system with Earth, the Sun, and the other planets might find itself in a new part of the galaxy, far away from where it began. It could be thrown out towards the outer edges or remain closer to the new center. 
But the view from Earth, if it's still around, will be a spectacular show with streams of stars and glowing gas clouds stretching across the sky, transforming our familiar view into something entirely alien. As the galaxies continue to blend together, a truly spectacular event will unfold in the center of this new cosmic structure. The verger of two supermassive black holes. At the heart of both the Milky Way and Andromeda lies a supermassive black hole, each millions of times more massive than our Sun. Over time, as the two galaxies merge, their black holes will be drawn closer and closer together by their immense gravitational pull. This process is incredibly slow, taking billions of years, but as they spiral inward they will release powerful waves known as gravitational waves, ripples in space-time that spread out across the universe, like waves in a pond. When the black holes finally merge, it will be one of the most energetic events in the history of our galaxy. The new black hole formed from the merger will be even more massive and will settle at the center of the newly formed galaxy. This massive black hole will draw in nearby gas and stars, creating a brilliant light show as it consumes material. Shining brightly like a cosmic beacon, imagine the center of the galaxy lighting up with bursts of energy, visible from vast distances. This phase won't last forever, though. Once the initial activity settles down, the black hole will become quieter, and the new galaxy will enter a calmer phase. But the effects of this event will be felt across the entire galaxy, as orbits of stars and planets are reshaped, and the galaxy finds a new balance. Our solar system, if it hasn't been flung out into deep space, might end up in a completely new position within the galaxy, far from where it began. The view from Earth, if it still exists, would be dominated by the faint glow of this supermassive black hole, a distant reminder of the incredible cosmic dance that led to this new era. Fast forward to about 10 billion years from now, and the chaos of the collision has finally settled. The two galaxies, once distinct, have fully merged into a new larger structure. Astronomers have already given it a name, Milkomita, or sometimes Milkdromeda. It won't be a spiral galaxy like our Milky Way used to be. Instead, it will become an elliptical galaxy, rounder, smoother, and much quieter. The bright, beautiful spiral arms that once defined both Andromeda and the Milky Way will be long gone, replaced by a more uniform glow of stars. The chaotic bursts of star formation caused by the merger will have ended, leaving behind an older, more stable population of stars. These stars will move in more random orbits, no longer confined to the graceful patterns of spiral arms. Instead, the galaxy will have a more ball-like shape, filled with stars of all ages, from ancient red giants to some of the last young stars formed during the merger. For any remaining observers, the night sky will look very different. Distant galaxies that once dotted the skies will now be beyond the reach of our telescopes, thanks to the expansion of the universe. As the universe continues to expand, those other galaxies will move further and further away, eventually disappearing from view entirely. This will leave Milkomita isolated, a lone island of stars in an increasingly empty cosmic ocean. Our solar system, if it has survived the tumultuous changes of the merger, might find itself in a peaceful orbit far from the center of the new galaxy. Without the spiral arms, the sky above Earth would be filled with a steady glow, but it would lack the bright clusters of stars and gas clouds that made the Milky Way's night sky so vibrant. For there is a beauty in this calm. After billions of years of change, Milkomita will settle into a long, quiet existence. Where stars slowly burn out, and new ones are born at a much slower rate, the black hole at the center, once so active during the merger, will now lie dormant, quietly pulling in occasional stars or gas clouds that drift too close. The story of the Andromeda Milky Way collision reminds us of the incredible scale of time and space. What seems chaotic and destructive is actually just a part of the universe's natural cycle, an endless dance where galaxies come together, change shape, and create new stars and planets in the process. It's a reminder that even in cosmic destruction, there is creation. And though we won't be around to see it, the legacy of our home galaxy will live on, transformed into something entirely new. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more such mind-blowing and informative contents.